Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's alright this morning. On our prayer request today, Samantha needs prayer. She's recovering from surgery and needs help with her young children. Uh, whoever gave me this one, please uh, give us an update. It's been a week. We're hoping that she's doing much better now. Uh, Beth Hyde's in the hospital. Uh, she was in the ICU. I'm not sure. I'm still uh, able to get any real information. I know that she was still in the hospital as of yesterday. So, Beth, if you happen to watch one of these uh, or this one, please let us know how you're doing. Uh, Todd is having bad hiccups and they won't go away. So bad he has trouble breathing. Doctors have tried meds with no results. Pray they can find out what's wrong. Uh, Kim has an unspoken request. Uh, pray for Jessica's cousin who lost his son this past Sunday. Pray for Lisa. Her vertigo is still causing her problems. Pray for the family of Temple University's acting president. She passed away suddenly. Okay. Alrighty. Our scripture of the day comes from Isaiah 65, 16 through 22. Okay. Whoever invokes a blessing in the land will do so by the one true God. Whoever takes an oath in the land will swear by the one true God, for the past troubles will be forgotten and hidden from my eyes. See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I create. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight, and its people a joy. I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and of crying will be heard in it no more. Never again will there be in it an infant who lives but a few days, or an old man who does not live out his years. The one who dies at a hundred will be thought a mere child. The one who fails to reach a hundred will be considered an accursed. They will build houses and dwell in them. They will plant vineyards and eat their fruit. No longer will they build houses and others live in them, or plant and others eat. For as the days of a tree, so will be the days of my people. My chosen ones will long enjoy the work of their hands. Okay. All right, and our devotion today is entitled Beautiful Restoration. In this wonderful book, Art Plus Faith, A Theology of Making, Renowned artist Makoto Fujimura describes the ancient Japanese art form of Kintsugi. The artist takes broken pottery, original, originally teaware, and pieces the shards back together with lacquer, threading gold into the cracks. Kintsugi, Fujimura explains, does not just fix or repair a broken vessel. Rather, the techniques make, technique makes the broken pottery even more beautiful than the original. Kintsugi first implemented centuries ago when a warlord's favorite cup was destroyed and then beautifully restored, became art that's highly prized and desired. Isaiah describes God artfully enacting his kind of restoration with the world. Though we're broken by our rebellion and shattered by our selfishness, God promises to create, create new heavens and a new earth. He plans not merely to repair the old world, but to make it entirely new, to, make, to take our ruin and fashion a world shimmering with fresh beauty. This new creation will be so stunning that past troubles will be forgotten, and former things will not be remembered. With this new creation, God won't scramble to cover our mistakes, but rather will unleash his creative energy, energy where ugly things become beautiful, and dead things breathe anew. As we survey our shattered lives, there's no need for despair. God is working his beautiful restoration. What needs beautiful restoration? How does this imagery of new creation stir hope in you? Dear God, please restore me and make my world new. 
And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. And I'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.